you very much. Joining us exclusively, exclusively from Washington is Arizona Senator and former Republican presidential nominee John McCain. Senator, good morning. Good morning, Harry. Finance reform bill, dead, alive, comatose. How would you describe it? I'd say alive. Uh, I think that there's been significant progress made. I think there's more progress that needs to be made. There's a lot of complexities here. A lot of members, frankly, don't understand all aspects of the bill, but uh, I think there is a common desire to achieve a goal here. In the end, will Americans, if this gets passed, in the end, will Americans be immune from the same kind of cataclysm that almost took the country off the economic edge two years ago? Uh, the bill as it's constituted, I certainly couldn't give that guarantee. For example, Fannie and Freddie are not, com <laughs> Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac are not included in any way in this legislation. They were, you know, they were the major catalyst the, behind this uh, meltdown. The big mortgage uh, I, lenders. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, I'm very worried about the fact that these financial institutions that are big have gotten bigger. Uh, so there's a lot of concern here, but I think there is a good faith effort being made to reach an agreement. Yeah. One of the things that was talked about was this whole notion of too big to fail. These giant financial institutions make most of their money now, not by mergers and acquisitions, not by investment banking, but by trading. They don't want to get out of the trading business. How are you going to dis... How does any of this dismantle these giant financial institutions? Well, I think that there's uh, regulations over so-called derivatives and there's other uh, measures. But what bothers me is that why not don't we just, as I've, and Senator Cantwell and I have recommended, just go back to the point where banks that do the traditional banking things, making loans to people so they can buy their homes and mm -hmm. all of that, just let, well, make them separate from uh, these financial institutions, as we'll find out today in the hearing with, with Mr. Blankfein, that uh, they do a lot of other things. In fact, there is compelling evidence, as was just reported, that the kind of activity that uh, Goldman was in hastened the, and deepened the crisis. Yeah. Do you feel like, or from what you understand, of it anyway that uh, Goldman Sachs was literally betting against itself? I don't think they were betting against himself. I think they were trying to hedge their bets the same way if you go to Las Vegas to the sports book and, uh, and the sports book balances uh, the bets, but it had the effect of worsening and deepening the housing crisis in my view. Mm. I want to talk about uh, immigration reform. Your state, your governor just signed into law a very tough uh, immigration reform bill which basically makes it illegal for you to be in the state without some sort of documentation. Is this law the answer to the immigration crisis? This law is a response to the president's and the administration's failure to secure our borders. Our borders are broken. It's worse than I have ever seen it. Let me give you two numbers. Across the Tucson sector of Arizona last year, there was 241,000 apprehensions of illegal immigrants. Uh, that, when you do the math, you catch three to five. That means over a million. There was 1 million, 300, 1.3 million pounds of marijuana uh, intercepted on the Tucson border just last year. The border is broken. The cartels are in an existential struggle with the government of Mexico. The violence is at an all-time high, and the federal government has the responsibility to secure the borders. They have not. In fact, they've even, in their budget, reduced the border patrol. We need to send 3,000 National Guard to the border. And for the millions of Hispanic Americans who live in Arizona, what do you say to them who feel like this bill is purely discriminatory? I say to them that uh, I do not want any discriminatory behavior, and I've talked to a group of lawmen a short, a short of time ago, a, a Saturday sheriff of Pinal County and police chiefs. They think they can implement this law without racial profiling. All right. Senator John McCain, we thank you for your time. Do appreciate it. Thank you, Harry. All right. Now here's